Morning, welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, April 10th, 2017. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to CADEX TV. This is potentially very big news. An alleged Russian computer hacker has been arrested in Barcelona, Spain at the request of the FBI. The arrest has set uh, cybersecurity circles abuzz because a Russian broadcast station, RT News, raised the possibility that the arrest was linked to the U.S. presidential election. Pietro Levashov was arrested Friday night in Barcelona on a U.S. computer crimes warrant. Uh, apparently, uh, RT News quoted his wife as saying that in a brief conversation with him after he was arrested, uh, the uh, hacker said that he had been accused of being linked to Trump's election win. It's known that the FBI is conducting a, uh, an investigation, a uh, counterintelligence investigation, into links between the Trump campaign and the Russians. The U.S. Embassy in Spain declined to comment. There is apparently an extradition order in play right now that could see uh, Levashov back in the United States uh, sometime possibly as early as today. The day after brazen attacks by ISIS killed about 45 people in two Coptic Christian churches in Egypt, uh, the Egyptians declared a three-month state of emergency a measure designed to help root out and to help the authorities root out the killers. Uh, Egypt is watching uh, in shock today as funerals for victims of the bombing are televised live. The president of Egypt, uh, El Sisi, said that the attack will not undermine the resolve of the Egyptian people to counter the forces of evil. The chairman of the Chinese Insurance Regulatory Commission, the CERC, uh, Jing Zhenbo has been placed under investigation by the ruling Communist Party's corruption watchdog. According to a statement from the Central Discipline Inspection Committee, Jing is suspected of, quote, severe disciplinary violations, although there are no further details. The Financial Times said rumors have been circulating about this potential investigation as Jing has not been seen in public in recent weeks. Uh, it added that the allegations may be unrelated to reinsurance as Jiang had previously served as chairman of the Agricultural Bank of China, the third biggest lender in China. Jiang had railed against the use of insurance premium funds for speculation. He cited a, uh, a warning uh, that the reinsurance and insurance commission would never allow the insurance industry to be turned into a rich boys club. Uh, there is some speculation that perhaps he has been too effective and uh, foundational elements within China that uh, have become wealthy over this kind of speculation have urged him uh, to be pulled back, and he has apparently been pulled back if he's been arrested. Britain's financial regulators are investigating Barclays' chief executive, Jess Staley, and the bank itself over handling of a whistleblower incident. Barclays said this morning that the investigation by the Financial Conduct Authority relates to an attempt last year by the CEO to identify the author of letters that were treated by the bank as a whistleblowing incident. <clears throat> Barclay says it has formally reprimanded the CEO and will, quote, very significantly cut his bonus, but it will uh, support his reappointment at the bank's annual general meeting next month. Uh, Staley is the former head of J.P. Morgan's investment bank. He became CEO at Barclays in uh, December of 2015. As uh, the summer returns to fall in Australia, um, severe weather continues there. This is uh, unrelated to uh, Tropical Storm Debbie. It's uh, further to the south in Victoria, but Melbourne, Australia's second city, was racked by uh, heavy rain and strong winds, uh, causing rescues of at least four people from the floodwaters. About 22,000 homes are without power. Uh, the uh, journey into and out of Melbourne today for work was uh, quite uh, uh, difficult. 230 buildings have been damaged by uh, clean up by winds and uh, flooding in the area. Delta Airlines is expecting a relatively normal operations day today. Finally, after five days, thunderstorms wreaked havoc on flight schedules last week and into the weekend. The number two U.S. airline canceled about 3,300 flights through Saturday after powerful midweek storms stranded and frustrated passengers during one of the nation's busiest travel weeks. 
Um, there was a, a massive uh, thunderstorm that struck Atlanta on uh, Wednesday, and 60% of Delta's traffic runs through Atlanta. Atlanta was closed. The Hartsfield uh, Jackson International Airport was closed for about five hours. There was a complete ground stop put in place. Uh, Delta had had one of the most uh, enviable track records in the airline industry with 161 days in 2016 without a cancellation. The Beijing government is offering hefty cash awards for information on foreign spies. Residents of Beijing can earn up to $72,000 by submitting tip-offs. Authorities launched an awareness campaign last year including warnings against being seduced by foreign spies. Uh, the new regulation was announced by the security branch of the Beijing municipal government. It said that residents could file tip-offs through the hotline launched last year in person or by the mail. Authorities say that as the heart of Chinese governance and innovation, Beijing is, quote, the first choice among foreign spy agencies who are fiercely carrying out infiltration, division, destruction, and theft of our country. Authorities noted that in January, a group of fishermen in Zhangzhou province had found the, quote, unidentifiable object inscribed with foreign words while trolling for fish and handed it in. The object was later found to be a spying device that was collecting data on China. Under President Xi Jinping, China has grown increasingly suspicious of foreign influence. So this is a way to try to stop that. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll go back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.